Well, this is gonna be the first time I've ever done a reaction video. And let me give you some some background before we get started. So I live in Lake Apopka and there was a Major League Fishing event just this past week, last week, during the Classic Week. And there was a, a major boat accident, major boat crash. And Eric Panzeroni, and I apologize if I get his name wrong, his fishing channel, and I'll put a link in the description below so you can see the whole video, was in the lock with the guys that had the boat crash. Now back to the boat crash. There's a major league fishing tournament on the Harris chain, and you have to lock through several places to get to Lake Apopka. And like I said, the lock is very outdated. It doesn't allow a lot of people through, not to mention that the running lanes are extremely narrow. And by extremely narrow, I mean some places it might be 12 feet from one side to the other or 14 feet so there isn't a lot of running room and those areas are all no wake zones so when this happened on eric panzeroni's fishing channel and again i apologize eric and eric was second in line in the for the lock and as you'll hear i'm going to play this and stop it so you can get my idea. But I wanted you to know a little bit about Lake Apopka and they were coming from Bo Beauclair into Apopka, Apopka. Down here in Florida, there's a lot of no wake zones. When you get to St. John's, there's a lot of wake zones because of manatees and houses and stuff like that. But we are really, they shouldn't be going through the no wake zones at speeds. That's the best way to put it. There's a reason why the no wake zones are there and they shouldn't be doing it. So here we go. Now, let me say first off, Eric's on the front of his boat having a nice bag of Doritos chips with the water. He's chilling out. He's waking, waiting for his, his time to get into the lock. And he's second right now. But you'll hear what these guys say at the same time. I don't know if you heard that. Best, the angler said, best close your eyes when we get through here. Now, they've already said, they've already, it's in their mind. We're blowing through this. We're blown through this no wake zone. We're doing it. Now, as a angler and not Eric, this is something that I think needs to be policed a little bit more. And I'm not throwing anything at Eric, but if these guys are gonna cheat and go through a no wake zone and there's anglers or someone else. I do believe, and probably Eric did this, I do believe they should be called out on it because if they're making this run to a popka to get first spot or whatever it is, and someone seeing them break the rules, other anglers should be enforcing those rules. Back to the video. Now, if you heard that, there were a bunch of people that heard that. When we get through this lock, close your eyes. And all of them started laughing. The guys behind Eric started laughing because they knew. We're, we're, we're not gonna slow down here. We're going for it. We're going balls out. <laughs> you know, it's all or nothing. Shake and bake is what they're saying. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. That's what they're saying. They're saying right, right in this lock before they even get in the lock. We're gonna go through this no wake zone. We got a place to go. We got a limited time. We want to catch the fish. We're going to break the rules. We're going to cheat. That's what they're saying. We are cheating. <laughs> and it drives me crazy that people are laughing about this. This isn't a laughing matter. That's the thing that kills me here. This is not a laughing matter. What these two guys in this crash that you're going to see, they're lucky they're alive. Because when they come up on this boat, when Eric comes up on this boat and he's and let me make sure I say it. Eric is idling. He did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong. The best thing about this is that Eric had his GoPro run, running. But when Eric gets up to this, this boat, you don't see the other boat. It's vanished. They've run over top of the other boat and ran into a bunch of stones and, and all sorts of stuff. It's lucky no one died. What did he say there? We're going to try to go 50 or 60, 70 through there. You have 14 feet, maybe max 16 feet from one bank to the other bank. 
you think you're going to go 50, 60, 70 miles per hour through there. What is wrong with these idiots? That's why I said, close your eyes. He's telling everybody behind him, don't watch. I know I'm breaking the rules. I'm going to go through this thing wide open. Wide open. Shake and bake. Close your eyes, everybody. I don't want you to see me breaking the rules and cheating. For a while. Ain't going to do you no good. You ain't got no piss. <laughs> One of those no wake zones is going to have to be non no wake. The problem with tournament fishing is, in my opinion, is when you add money to something that's really fun and you have to, you're paying to play and you want to be successful, people are going to break the rules. They're going to try to do whatever they can at whatever time to skirt that gray area. And if nobody's watching the no wake zones because most boats can't get through it, why not break the rules? Doug, are you gonna let her spin? Yeah. Yep. You gonna spin it back? Uh, put it as hard as I can. The problem is, I, don't, I know the sheriff has that right here. That's, in, that's in Dora. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 Are you gonna skin her back? That was the question the angler behind Eric said. He said, I'm going to, I, he pretty much said yes. This was just something waiting to happen. This was moron anglers, idiot moron anglers, thinking they were, could handle and knew this area well enough to go through the tightest of tightest areas to to get to the bass quicker this is moronic now i'm going to skip ahead so you don't have to watch or listen to all of it but this is when the guy behind eric asks can i go with this guy that with the guy in front of you because I'm going to run through the wake zone also. I'm going to follow him on his ass through the wake zone. He was screaming. <laughs> and you can tell as soon as they get in the, in the lock and the lock opens up on the other side, they're instantly on the gas. <laughs> Now these guys wave goodbye to the lockmaster, and then as soon as they clear the wall, it's opened up. And then Eric approaches the biggest tragedy there is, or a massive tragedy. And these guys, one had to slow down to go through this area where the train tracks are. And as he slowed down, the guy behind him didn't have enough time to slow down also. So the only thing that could happen was either crash the boat, or in this case, he just ran over the other boat. Oh, 
was wondering, I'm like, how are you going to run so I'm pitching to McKee Senior right here? Like, how are you guys going to run over there? And really, the craziest thing about this is that they're very lucky that someone didn't die. As he gets closer to this, you're going to see it looks like there's only one boat beached. There isn't. There's a boat underneath the other boat, and there's a guy bleeding real bad. These guys could not be luckier that someone didn't die. All to get to a fishing spot early. Now, this is the worst case scenario. Again, I think these guys are absolute morons. I apologize. I'm, I'm sorry. I think this is stupid. I think this hurts us. And of all things, this happened during the Classic Week. This could have been bigger news than the Classic. Luckily, it wasn't because not a lot of people heard about it, but now people are. And I think that these guys should not be allowed to professionally fish ever again. Both teams, both all four people. If they're going to make stupid decisions like this, who's to say that they're not doing things outside of this that they want people not to watch? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Do that. They're transpiring to break the rules right now and probably at all times. These are guys that once you, unfortunately, once you cheat once, you're considered a cheater always. And this is cheating. Eric did, Eric idled all the way through there. He has the same time to get in probably the, as these guys. He's following the rules. These four morons are out there gunning it, hoping to get to a spot first or faster while everyone else has to follow the rules. So they should not be allowed in Major League Fishing. And the one guy's mad. And honestly, the guy that has his boat on top of the other boat, the bottom boat, the bitch boat, as I'm going to say from now on, I'm joking, that was the guy who told everybody to, to close your eyes. You can't be mad at this guy for running you over because you told him to follow you. You told him. It wasn't, you, you gave it, told everyone, don't watch, close your eyes, this is what's going to happen, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And this guy followed you, probably because he might have been friends, whatever, but he thought it was safe to follow you, and you stopped and slowed down. And while there's no brakes on a boat, you shouldn't have transpired or conspired to do this. And you, and I'm not saying you deserve this, you don't deserve this, but you shouldn't be allowed to bass fish, professional bass fish, ever again. And if you have a sponsor after this, I will. I can say that is even more stupid because anybody who sponsors an idiot like this should not have a business in in the industry. You are hurting our industry by doing things. This hurts us as a sport because you're stupid. Fuck that! What happened? We stopped. We stopped the bridge. Fuck! I put it in neutral. Fucking way back there. Fucking slid right on. Now, again, these guys, I don't ever wish any harm against anybody by any means, but this is stupid. This is just really moronic. And maybe I'm being too harsh. I want to hear what you think. Should these guys be allowed to fish in tournaments? I think this is horrible. I think this is horrible for the sport. And just like the walleye fishermen, the cheaters, this is guys that are trying to break the rules at all times. And while I love watching professional tournament fishing this is the issue with tournament fishing in my opinion there's too many people that go out there and want to break the rules or skirt the gray areas to get ahead and if we're not abiding by the rules and being strict and showing these guys and others that we're not going to allow people to break the rules and we're going to push them under the the chair or under the the table then we have an issue in the industry so while I, i'm happy that these guys aren't hurt 
I don't think they should be allowed to fish. And I apologize for calling a moron and idiotic several times in this video, but that's what I think they are. I think this is stupid. I think this is really stupid. To get to a better spot in Apopka is just, it's, it's mind boggling to me. So tell me what you think in the comments below. If you want more of these reaction videos, I can do them. Just comment and tell me. But thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I had to change the battery in the middle of this. It stunk. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.